What Martin's after is some kind of flying creature that would prove his theory. He thinks that today's birds evolved directly from prehistoric reptiles, not from dinosaurs at all. But that idea ruffles Bob Barker's feathers. He says that at the root of the bird family tree, you'll find something more like this Deinonychus, which personally, I just don't see. What about this guy? You've got to admit there is a family resemblance there, especially around the head and neck. What you see before you is your dinosaurian head and neck working, that graceful S-shaped curve going zap, zap, zap. Lightweight neck, full of air. Air pa passages in the head, along the neck, right into the torso. The dark spot behind the eyes, the eardrum, big eardrum, bigger nars. Pretty good, too, for picking up most frequencies. The eyes, though, are better than ours. He's, they see a wider range of colors. Dinosaur eyes would be like that. And the brain? Well, that, the brain in that emu is about the size that you would get in a Deinonychus, medium-sized raptor. Pretty intelligent, the smartest animal in its world in the Cretaceous, at least. It's not exaggeration to say we're still in the age of dinosaurs because there are 9,300 species of birds in the world. Every one of them a direct descendant of a small raptor like dino. So if you listen to Bob Bakker, first came reptiles, then dinosaurs, and then the two-legged raptors like Deinonychus. Deinonychus led to flying dinosaurs like Archaeopteryx. And from there, it was just a short flight directly to Bob's kitchen, just in time for Thanksgiving. Okay. I love to do this. I do this every Thanksgiving. You may think that this is a turkey. This is not a turkey. This is a dinosaur. This is a raptor. And I can prove it to you. The hand of the turkey. Wonderful device. The hand of Z turkey has a thumb and two fingers stuck together. Index finger and middle finger, all attached together to make a swivel. Zink, 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 zink. No other animal alive today except birds have that kind of hand. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. <laughs> now, for your edification, here is a dinosaur hand. Thumb and two fingers stuck together and a swivel joint at the top, so the whole thing goes back and forth. Zink, da zink, da -da zink. That is a turkey hand turkey with a bad attitude, but that's a turkey hand. But wait, there's more. Here at the lower end of the shin is the joint for the ankle. It rolls around like that. It's a great big tendon that goes to the foot, flexes the foot backwards. Whack, whack, whack. And right here, at the bottom of your dinosaur shin bone is the same sort of joint. No other animal extinct or living besides birds and dinosaurs have this wraparound ankle bone. And finally, look how wide the hip bones are. That's all four thigh muscles, all that dark meat. Look at all the dark meat over here. Look at immense. If you dissect any other kind of animal besides a bird, you don't find wide thighs. Birds have wide thighs. Deinonychus has a thigh just like that. Nerdy old dinosaurs. So from shoulder to hip to knee to ankle, a turkey is a dinosaur. It is a living raptor. Do you believe that? Well, somebody like Bob Backer might say that uh, if you see a flock of birds today, you've really seen a flock of dinosaurs. Well, I'll tell you what, I think you've just seen a flock of birds. Here's an illustration of Larry Martin's theory. He thinks birds came directly from reptiles and dinosaurs had nothing to do with it. I don't think that anybody has any real evidence to prove that birds are derived from dinosaurs. Birds evolved from reptiles separately from dinosaurs. They have their own separate lineage. See, this debate started way back in 1877 in Germany. When archaeologists found this fossil in a limestone quarry, it was front page news. From limestone to lime light, they called it Archaeopteryx, meaning ancient feather. Thomas Huxley, who had worked with Charles Darwin, immediately noticed a similarity between Archaeopteryx and modern birds. Just like Bob Bakker, Huxley believed that birds came from dinosaurs. They both have hollow bones, both walk on two legs. Legs which look almost the same. But to prove his theory, Huxley needed a dinosaur to link reptiles to Archaeopteryx. Without it, his theory was all but forgotten. Until about a hundred years later, John Ostrom discovered Deinonychus, one of the most vicious raptors of them all. 
Ostrom noticed that it looked a whole lot like Archaeopteryx. Was this the missing link that Bakker and company had been waiting for? If Bakker and Huxley are right, this cartoon shows what could have happened over millions of years. That's Deinonychus, whose evolutionary path took him from the forest floor to the skies. That would make today's birds the grandchildren of that first flying dinosaur. Evolution took them in different directions, to every corner of the globe. So that settles it. The mystery solved. Sam, you ought to know by now that in the field of paleontology, nothing's ever that simple. While bakker has been out bird watching, Larry Martin has found a problem with the timeline. One of the major problems with the dinosaur hypothesis is that the dinosaurs that they compare to Archaeopteryx, like Deinonychus, for instance, are all younger than Archaeopteryx. And so it's, it's really difficult to be younger than your grandparents. So it would be like saying that Grandpa is younger than we are. That's kind of hard to picture. Now, just look at the skeleton they found in Texas back in 1984. It looked a lot like bird bones to guys like our friend, dino detective Larry Martin. This very early bird was called Proto-Avis, which actually means early bird. How early? Try 225 million years. That's even older than the dinosaurs. Which would prove Martin's theory that birds didn't come from dinosaurs, but evolved from something like this. That is one ugly bird. Well, that's the problem. Unfortunately, no feathers were found, so we can't really say for sure that it was a bird. So Martin keeps on searching. <laughs>